high quality upscaling for slow GPUs or faster workflows. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna set you free from shitty quality. Also don't forget to join my live stream tomorrow where we're gonna do some awesome photo bashing bringing you the good stuff. Or as the French say, le good stuff. Okay, let's get started. So what is the problem here? When you use the extras tab in Automatic 11.11 for upscaling, you're upscaling from a small resolution image to a higher resolution image and that gives you an acceptable quality but not a great quality by any stretch of the imagination. So instead what we want to do is to use an extension for Automatic 11.11 that's called Ultimate Upscale. This is splitting up your image into tiles of 512 by 512 and then apply your settings to them to create a much higher quality at the end the image is going to be combined again so the process here is very simple you want to go to the link that I've provided below the video and you copy this web address then in automatic 11.11 you go to the extensions tab you go to the install from URL and put this in here. You click here on the install button and wait a couple of seconds until this has finished. Now as always you want to go here to installed, click on check for updates and then click on apply and restart UI. Now at this point I also want to highly suggest to you to get the ultra sharp upscaler. I've made a video about that you can check out here that also shows you another upscaling method that gives you really high quality. So on this model database you simply scroll down here and one of the first in here is the 4x ultra sharp upscaler. You want to click on that link. This will bring you to mega upload and when this has loaded you want to right click here on the PTH file, click on download, standard download and then you want to download this into your automatic 11.11 folder, in there into the models folder and in there into the ESRGEN folder. You can see here is my file. After you've done this you want to close down automatic 11.11 and then start it again so that this model is actually loaded. Now when you go back to your interface in automatic 11.11 you won't see any changes right away because the upscale has actually found an image to image tab. Scroll down to script and there you will see ultimate SD upscale. Click on that and here you have additional options. So at this point you can go with two different routes. Either you create a new image with text to image and after you've created that you send it over to image to image or alternatively what you can also do is that you load an image from the PNG info tab with all of the settings and the image into the image to image tab. Now at this point a very important thing here is that when you look at your settings and all the information from the PNG info tab you want to check out what kind of model have you used to create that image so you use the same model for the upscaling. In this case I have used realistic vision version 2. Now at this point we have to do some adjustments here. First of all because this is tiling the image so it's splitting up the image you want to remove the information up here that is specific to the image. So in the positive prompt field I will just leave in here all the kind of neutral information. Also here it says highly detailed skin so I'm going to remove the skin too so this is just saying highly detailed after that. Alternatively you can also try to delete all of the positive prompt. Leave the negative prompt in here with everything you have set up. Then scroll down to your settings. Another thing you want to do here is to turn off restore face. Again this is because this is going to be tiled up into individual square images so at no point is the full face visible so restore face will most likely fail. I did a lot of testing and I found that Euler A with between 20 and 30 steps is good. So 25 steps should be good for most purposes. You can also try to use for example DPM2 Keras or DPM++2 SA Keras. So play around a little bit with the sampling methods to see what gives you the best results. We are not going to change the resolution in here because the upscaling is done in the script. 
But one thing that is really important here is the denoise strength. Now, in most cases, I would suggest to you to use between 0.2 and 0.3 as a denoise strength. If you set the denoise strength higher, you might get more details and a better quality, but also you might end up with an image that looks different or parts of the image that doesn't fit the original. I will show you some examples in a second. You can set here the original seed or a random seed that doesn't really have too much influence. Now down here for the fastest method, if you have a really old GPU, you want to only use the script. You want to set this to scale from image size, then set the scale here, upscale it to four. In here, you can see from the upscalers, I have the four times ultra sharp. Now I've found that this works pretty good with photos because it gives more details to the skin and the hair. But if you, for example, have drawings or anime style, you want to use here the RESR Gen 4X Anime 6B. For the tile, we leave it at 512. And down here, you can also turn on seams fix. After that, you simply click on generate and this is running through the process. Now, alternatively, what you can do here is to use ControlNet 1.1. So you have to update ControlNet and you also have to download the ControlNet 1.1 models. Check out my video here about that. And you want to set the pre-process to tile resample and the model to ControlNet version 1.1 tile. Enable it and leave the rest of the settings as they are. So at this point, you're going to use ControlNet and the ultimate SD upscale script. What this is doing is that it is using ControlNet on each of these 512 by 512 tiles individually. And this can give you a lot more detail, but it might also give you too much detail, more than you actually want to have. So at this point, let's have here a look at some examples. This is the image I have rendered with 512 by 768. And as you can see, when I zoom in here, it is pretty pixelated and of course, low resolution. This is a photo with realistic vision version two. Next, we have an image that is just using the extra tabs with upscale with the ultra sharp model. And when we zoom in here, you can see that this has a higher resolution, but at the same time, it's still kind of blurry and low detail, even though it does look kind of nice. Here we have a look at the clothing, which is also not too bad, but at the same time, not very detailed also. Next here is an upscale that is using image to image with the ultimate upscale extension. So when we zoom in here, you can see, first of all, that there's a lot of details in the skin here. The hair, you can see every single hair here that is sharp and detailed. So that's very nice. Also up here, you have nice individual hairs. Look at how detailed the flower is over here and and when we go down to the stitching, you can even see here very fine stitching along these lines of the clothing. It's really impressive. But one thing that has also happened here that's interesting is that the print has changed into decorations that are sewn onto the kimono, but it also still looks good. You can avoid that by setting the denoise lower. So this is using denoise 0.25. If you go with a lower denoise like 0.1, you can have it closer to the original image. However, a higher denoise also allows to create more and finer details in your image. So you want to find a balance in that. Now, the next example I want to show you here is about the anime style image. For this model, check out my video about my favorite models for rendering. This is created with the ghost mix model and also uses the Phoenix dress Laura to get these beautiful details in the dress. Now, in this case, I'm completely removing the positive prompt. I'm leaving in the negative prompt. Down here, I'm going to set my sampling method to Euler A with 25 steps. Resolution is as original. Denoise strength 2.5. And this time when we are using the ultimate upscaling script, you want to use the RESR Gen 4X anime model to upscale that. 
rest of the settings can stay the same four times upscale. Again, in this case, I'm turning off restore face because this will give me a bad result. Again, let's have a look at the examples here. So this again is the original image. You can see that it is low resolution and very pixelated. Now here I have a version that has been upscaled, but with the face fix turned on. So when we scroll into this, you can see that this is now high resolution. The details look very nice, but the face is blurry and the eyes here have a very strange, almost overlapping effect in them. Here for comparison, we have the same upscale with the exact same settings, but this time I have set face restore to off. So you can see that the details in the face are nice and sharp, but the eyes are butched now, but that is completely okay. So what we're doing here to fix this situation is after the upscale render has finished, we are sending this image to InPaint. Now this might take a while to load because this now has a pretty high resolution, but that shouldn't be a problem for the next step. Because what we are doing here is to simply mask out the eyes in here like so. And then up here, you want to write beautiful eyes in the prompt. Next, we are going to scroll down and you want to turn on here only mask. Use the same settings as before, but now for the resolution, you can either set here 512 or you can set here 768 by 768 to get an even better resolution. Because we are not upscaling anymore, you want to turn off the script. So go to the script and select none from the pop-up menu. Then click generate and this will paint in the eyes. You can do this as often as you want until you get nice looking eyes. So here you can see the result that I got from in-painting beautiful eyes. And I would say that everything looks wonderful and the eyes fit really nice with what we have created. Now, alternatively, what I can also do is to use ControlNet with Tile. And in this case, because ControlNet is using the tiles of the original image, you can actually set the denoise strength rather high. So let's go here with a denoise strength of 0.4. The control net is enabled, the preprocessor is on tile, the model is on control net version 1.1 tile, the rest of the settings stay the same. The script is an ultimate upscale, target size, scale from image size, scale 4, and of course the render method again here is for the RESR GAN anime model. And of course we're using seam fix again. So here is the final result. And what you can see from this is that it has considerably more detail here, finer details in the image. We scroll in here, you can also see that I fixed the eyes already within painting, but in a side by side comparison, when you look at all of the details, they are more intricate, they are more sophisticated. But I also want to point out here that this method, of course, because it is using control net title and the extension for ultimate upscale is taking more time, longer render time. If you have a slow GPU, that might be a considerably longer process, but the result might be worth it. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I'm really looking forward to see you tomorrow in my live stream and have a nice day. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.